Good morning, Kindle Kids, and welcome to your Wednesday, October 16th. And today is, well, International Cat Day because cats are pretty cool. They're really amazing uh, feline companions. And if you happen to have one as a pet, you have a lot of health benefits. You get uh, stress reduction. It actually is proven to lower people's cholesterol, blood pressure, boost your immunity, all kinds of great things because, you know, cats are a really wonderful kind of pet. But cats have had working jobs through humanity for a very long time. Whether the ancient Egyptians who kept them as both pets, but also to keep away uh, rodents and pests, uh, but were also part of their religious structure. <clears throat> Many other cultures have used them to rid themselves of pests. But one of the cool things to think about is International Cat Day it doesn't have to be just household cats, like domesticated cats. We could talk about, you know, wild cats too, whether it be the uh, the puma or one of my favorites, the lynx, look at the size of those paws, or everybody's favorite, the tiger. But one of my absolute favorite facts that I did not know up until looking this up for this announcement was that big cats, like really big cats, they can roar, but they can't purr. But there are wild cats that can purr, which is pretty cool. So at the, you know, in a second, I'll show you this bobcat that can actually purr too, which is really neat. Anyways, let's find the flag in the room and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, you crazy candy kids, let's talk a little about food for the day. On our menu, we have chicken nuggets along with egg salad sandwich, uh, roll with potatoes, broccoli, apple, and milk. What's going on with that weather outside? It's going to be another cold day today. We're looking at a high of 50 degrees. The big warm-up starts tomorrow and moves on into the mid-60s for the rest of the week with lots of gorgeous bright sunshine. But for today, cold and rainy is the forecast. Uh, so look forward to the beautiful fall weather on the other side of things coming up tomorrow. I do want to remind you through our Kendall Canines function right here that actually, uh, I guess we call it Kendall Bovines, uh, we are doing the naming contest for the Standish's uh, new calf. Right now, the, the ones that are front runners that I got sitting next to my desk for the boats are Oreo, Cowie, and steak. <laughs> so throw some other ideas in there. We could use some uh, some variety and we'll hold maybe like a little vote a thon on that at the very end. All right, uh, talking about our monster box, you guys did some awesome artwork as usual. So I want to show off the cool things that you are making. Uh, so keep that up, throw your stuff in there. Uh, show me the cool things that you make at home. You know, there's just all kinds of good stuff. So get it in there, show it off because art is meant for other people to check out and look at, right? All right, let's finish out our announcements at Kendall Mission Statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. I hope you guys have a one <coughs> wonderful Tuesday. And if you missed it yesterday because we, the announcements got posted late, I uh, do want to point out that the uh, the bike safety bikeathon uh, that we have uh, twice a year usually, um, one of them is happening coming up on the 18th. And so we have this amazing clip from some really famous actors here reenacting uh, a famous movie called Napoleon Dynamite. Here you go. It's an alpha custom. Dang, you got grips, shocks, water bottle holder, lucky. Ever take it off any sweet jumps? You got like three feet of air there. Can I try it real quick? So don't be like Napoleon, kids. Make sure you keep your helmet on and you don't do any of those sweet jumps. We'll see you out there on the bike ride.